Well, that's promising. Strong images and fear-inducing scenarios. Let's do it. All right. You're holding some blue gold, or as it's known, blue effect. The pride and joy of our lovely employers, Loomis and our planet Paradisium. Every time you need the orb, just press and hold the trigger. The orb will come back to your orb holder. Very well. If you want to start, throw the orb through the circle in front of you. Your weapon and orb are completely powered by blue effect, giving your weaponry a real nice kick. Never thought I'd have a chance to see one of those bad boys in action. Only the most elite are given to Hey, press the trigger on the weapon. It shouldn't be so hard. For some reason, okay, let's give this game a shot. Single player, oops. One hit, you're dead? I did not expect that. Wow, that got difficult really quick. What is this nonsense? I have no idea what this is. Are these like healing or what? I was like a night vision or something. The tutorial really didn't explain this stuff at all. Yeah, the tutorial I really didn't it didn't really explain that I had these night vision power-ups. Okay, 
and uh, now what? Menu? Ah, oh, the room scale or something is just going nuts lately. Like on this screen, it just has a lot of problems for some reason. Uh, I'll try the... Single player. So that was the warehouse. Let's try the incubator. The Visually, it's very good. Like the, I like the shades and blues and the... There's a little bit that wasn't explained very well. Throw the ball here to start, okay. So like... This one, you have two of these. What good does that do me? You have to throw the ball at them to hit them? Yeah, I don't really have a clue... What is going on? tutorial if it's the beginning thing it really didn't tell me anything all right you're holding some blue gold or as it's known blue effect the pride and joy of our lovely employers Loomis and our planet Paradisium. every time you need the orb just press and hold the trigger the orb will come back to your orb holder very well if you want to start throw the orb through the circle in front of you your weapon and orb are completely powered by blue effect yeah, I don't get it. The tutorial is exactly what I already knew. Try the warehouse again. Yeah, there's really- the tutorial really didn't explain anything about the orb or those power-ups that are to my left. Really, absolutely nothing. It just threw me into the game. I'm assuming you can shoot the orb and it explodes. I'm assuming you can throw it at enemies and it does something. Don't ask me what. Get it. How in the heck would you ever be able to throw this and actually hit anybody? I have no idea. Froze them possibly? That's what it kind of looked like to me. I have no idea.
Yeah, I have no idea. about to come to an end. Really then dollar question, how does one actually see anything and actually kill anything at a certain point in this game? Still alive? I thought I was dead. Yeah, I'm not understanding the point of the globe at all. Alright. So apparently I'm not understanding what the globe is for. Um, maybe you hold the globe and you punch? It just, the tutorial was just absolutely useless. I really can't imagine a more useless tutorial. I'm actually going to play it without the orb now, because whatever the orb does, the game didn't explain it. It says, here's your orb! It does light! It's like, okay, so do I just use it for light and that's it? If that's all it does, that's great. Um, but I feel like there was something more to it. This is probably more my style here. Okay, let's get ourselves started here. Grab one of these. Oh. I was reading a big part of the game is actually multiplayer, which sounds pretty cool. You have somebody playing it sounded like on a smartphone. That I would be interested in seeing. being really fussy about being tracked properly when it's on this side. I try to s center myself better in my room, that's the only thing I can think. Alright, let's grab one of these again. There really isn't much to do in the game when your uh, night vision's gone. I mean, you can't really see anything to shoot at them. Music's pretty good though. It actually fits the style of the game really well. Kind of reminds me of something out of Aliens.
increase this level at some light. sound effects in the monsters is actually really good I'd say like the big one when it comes is awesome like it gets your attention a second there's so many problems with my hand over by this thing there we go last one when an enemy actually attacks you is pretty good too. I'll give it that, like when they charge or jump at you, it looks cool. on these flashlights suck. Yeah, something about my hand over this thing just on this side of the room right now is weird. I might have to just reconfigure. It might be something on my end. Uh, maybe one of the towers or something somehow got moved. Um, it's usually have pretty good luck. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. What does that mean? I won? You died? Well, the lights went out and I got swarmed. Alright, so that's blue effect. Um, not sure what to think. I'd say it's pretty average, just based on the single player. I know the multiplayer is supposed to be a big, you know, it's supposed to be something different, and I, I cannot test that, unfortunately. The tutorial is pretty useless as far as the orb, unless the orb does exactly what it says. Um, there's no explanation to those things, but I mean, I figured it out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's blue effect.